But the question would be, what is the practical takeaway when we get out of this place? I give this example always that if you're like a soda bottle, the moment the goalie is out, <laughs> that's the end of the energy. I don't see the point in actually engaging with such an audience because it's a waste of your time as well as my time. I'd rather look for a slow burn rocket which is basically going to last the long run because the work that falls upon us as a consequence of inaction for generations together requires at least two generations of real hard work. Two generations is being very conservative. When we keep saying Hindu Rashtra, Hindu Rashtra, Hindu Rashtra, I have to ask this basic question. When the first audience that we need to address is Hindus themselves, not the other, let's say, non-Hindus, imagine the kind of uh, work that has been cut out for us. The first audience that needs to be catered to is at least 50% of the Hindu population. And when I say at least 50% of the Hindu population, that's a very optimistic figure. Ask yourself in college campuses, in office spaces, in families, whether the first people to raise questions with respect to Hindu dharma in the case of Sabarimala or anything else, is it a non-Hindu or is it a Hindu? If it is a Hindu, then the problem lies with him. Now, I think a question was raised by one of the gentlemen here and I think it's a very valid question that if the judiciary is anti-Hindu, what is the point of constantly going there and banging your heads? Basic question, it's not, uh, it's not a bad question to ask at all. I'll give you my own example and I've consciously avoided using the Sabrimala example in my profile across the board because I don't want to be seen as milking that particular case for my publicity. So I'm keeping this very, very limited. The opinion of the Hindu Samaj in the context of the Sabrimala temple before and after the hearing changed radically. Because court aapko ek platform deti hai ek mudde ke baare mein apne position ko saamne rakhne ke liye jo report hota hai public mein. जो प्राइम टाइम टेलीविजन डिबेट्स में जो तर्क बाहर नहीं आते हैं जिनके जो लेयर्स और बारीकियां बाहर नहीं आते हैं वो कोर्ट के सामने रखा जा सकता है और वो रिपोर्ट हो सकता है लॉ स्कूल्स में बच्चे जो हैं इस केस के आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आज भी पढ़ रहे हैं और उनका मन इसके वजह से बदल रहा है देर लाइक ओके आई डेंट थिंक ऑफ इट ऑन दीज लाइन्स सो नेवर लुक एट विक्ट्री और डिफीट इन द शॉर्ट टर्म सेंस इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ आप टाइम लाइन्स को कितना एक्सपैंड करके देखते हैं आज इट कैन बी अ केस ऑफ अ डिफीट पचास साल के बाद क्या होगा किसने क्या देखा है द टैक्टिक ऑफ इन्फिनिट वॉर जो जिहादियों का है उससे कुछ तो सीखिए तब तक आपकी हार नहीं हो सकती है जब तक आप हार नहीं मानते इफ यू थिंक दैट the moment the Sabrimala case was done, all I got was only roses. I got brickbats equally after the outcome to basically say, so those until the verdict, people who said, kya argument hai, kya argument hai, jaysay verdict aya, people said, bachche ko khada kar diya, is liye se ho gaya. Because I was 32 when I was arguing this matter in 2018. The people did not remember that before me, a Dr. Singh, we had argued from our side, and Sri Parasaran had argued from our side. When they were praising me, they forgot those two people. And when they were blaming me, they equally forgot those two people. <laughs> <laughs> so public memory and public wawahi is not what I am fighting for. Because public memory is fickle and its allegiance is fickle. An audience which is capable of clapping for me can easily heckle me at, a some, at, at, let's say, at some point in the future. So I'm certainly not doing this for you people, let me be very clear. <laughs> I'm doing this in a very selfish way because that is the strongest possible incentive for any human being. I'm doing this to protect the culture that I grew up with, period, which I have benefited from. I'm doing this to protect all my childhood memories of having celebrated Hindu festivals. I'm doing this to protect or preserve whatever remains of my childhood nostalgia. To say that I will not let things change to a point where my childhood looks like a dream from a different planet altogether. That is something that I will not allow. That's the only sankalp that I have taken. Now whether I win or lose ultimately as the Gita says is certainly not my control. My job is to do whatever I have to which I will do. <laughs>